Good morning, guys. It is, what day of the month is it? It is February 26th. I am making breakfast right now. I'm getting my hair done today. So I've just been getting balayage since like last April, I think. And yeah, it just really needs to be touched up. So I'm gonna get a little more blonde put in again. And then I just kind of have like work today and different things going on, but I just decided to vlog. I'm just gonna kind of make this a compilation vlog of random days when I'm doing fun things. So that's what we're doing. This weekend, so either Wednesday night or Thursday morning, I am going to drive to South Carolina. If I drive Wednesday night, it'll be after work and I don't get off work until 7 p.m. So I don't really know, because it's a six hour drive. So we'll see, because I'm not good at driving in the dark. But, um, oh, by the way, I have this sty. That's what's going on with my eye right now. That's why I look like Quasimodo from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. I really don't do well with styes. My whole eye like swells up. But anyways, yeah, so this weekend I'm planning to go to South Carolina to visit my boyfriend. So I want to vlog some of that. He's never been in the vlogs before and he's a little bit like, I don't know about all that. So we'll see. Hi Shmi, you want to go outside? There you go. See you later. Obviously, he's super supportive of my vlogs and he actually encourages me to make more vlogs But then the second I want to vlog when he's around he's like ah, I don't know what to do. So um, yeah, we will see about that, but oh, I'm burning my bagel. All right, I'm gonna make breakfast now Honestly, hate getting my hair done and not being able to do my makeup because I feel like the grand reveal of it, I still just kind of look derpy, like I'm just like. But I really love it. It's really bright. It's a little bit frizzy right now at the top because blow drying my hair always makes my little baby hair stick up. It looks good. Thanks, Presley. I'm going to touch and look at my hair all day long. Like it's just so much fun. Oh, and I really like it from the back. Let me see if I can. See if I can film this. Yeah, look how pretty that is. Now I am just going to clean. I'm going to clean my bedroom. I'm going to pick up around the kitchen. I'm going to pick up my stuff from like the living room. So yeah, I just have a lot of that stuff to do today. By the way, this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these white tennis shoes. I don't know where I'm showing you. in black socks, even though I know that's illegal, but you know, you do what you can. These jeans from Levi's, they're like high rise and I really love them. This sweater from my little sister, it's hers. Uh, and then yeah, now my new hair. I love it. I love getting my hair done. It's just as like a self care pamper day, whatever. Now I have an eye doctor appointment actually at four o'clock. So the reason, I don't know if I've explained this yet, but the reason is because I have glasses that I've actually gotten the lens replaced in twice. And for some reason, it still like looks really warped to me. Everything looks like a fisheye. And I'll even try to wear it for like a couple days as I'm like, oh, I just need to get used to it. And like, it just gives me a headache. So um, since I'm supposed to be wearing glasses when I have a sty and I can't because I need to wear something so that I can see and the glasses don't help, I like called my doctor and was like, can I please come in so that we can figure out what's going on with my glasses? So he's gonna like retest my eyes and see like maybe if it was just the wrong prescription, which doesn't make sense though because I'm wearing contacts that are that prescription and they're totally fine. So I don't really know what's going on. I'm just gonna keep looking at myself in for a minute because I love my new hair. I love getting my hair done. Yay. Okay, well, I'm gonna go clean now and then go to the eye doctor. I don't really know if I'm gonna vlog anymore today, so who knows the next time you'll see me, but Bye. Okay, hi guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the vlog. Now I'm in South Carolina. I drove in really late last night. 
and I'm here visiting my boyfriend. This is Christian and he's really uncomfortable. <laughs> he does not understand vlog life at all. Basically our plan this morning was to go for a run and then we woke up and it was pouring the rain so we're like, okay, we'll just save our run for tomorrow or something. But then we were like, screw it, let's go anyway. So, <laughs> so it is raining. Pretty good, like it's not the worst ever, but it is raining, but it's like nearly 60 degrees. So we're just gonna, gonna oh my God, my words. But we're gonna go for a little rainy run on the, what is it, Falls Park like trail? Swamp Rabbit Trail. Swamp Rabbit Trail. Uh, yeah, so that's our plan. And then we're gonna go get some lunch and maybe go to this place with some wine. And at some point I wanna go to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods to pick up a couple things. So we will just see. We just finished our run. Oh my. <laughs> How was the run? It's good. Good. Sad. <laughs> that was a good face. So Happy Nails closed, so we're just gonna go tomorrow for lunch because it'll be open tomorrow. But I don't know where we want to go now. Stop. <laughs> You're right here. I know. For lunch, we just got these massive salads at Whole Foods. Mine just has like peas, roasted red peppers, some couscous salad, sweet potatoes. That's the mock chicken salad. I don't know what the brand is, but it's vegan chicken. And yeah, did I get anything else in there? Oh, roasted corn. You're already digging in, is it good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. That looks really good, the uh, orzo. I almost said chorizo. He called it chorizo a minute ago, the orzo salad. Looks really yummy. Hi, switching to the phone camera. Um, after Whole Foods, we just came back and chilled for a little bit, and now we are getting ready to go to this new wine bar that opened in Greenville. Christian just ran inside to go get my eye drops because my eye is really hurting. Like, look at that. Oh, I hate it when I get a sty because my eye just does not react minimally to styes. It, like, overreacts. I mean, I guess that's everything that I do. But, yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know that I'm switching to my phone. So the quality is going to go down just a little bit, but it's just way easier when I go out to vlog on my phone because I don't have to carry my big camera around into like restaurants and stuff like that. Okay, so we just left the wine place. <laughs> And I have the hiccups. <laughs> we are now walking to Girl Mart. And then we're gonna go get sushi. Hello everybody. It is now the next day. It is March 1st actually, which is really crazy. Um, my sty is a little bit better today. I mean, it's definitely still there. And so is the keloid on my nose piercing. But you know, you just gotta kind of go with it. Um, today, I uh, just had a pretty chill morning with Christian. And now it's the afternoon and I'm at Barnes and Nobles, I've been wanting to go to Barnes and Nobles for a minute now because I wanna see if I can find a good supplemental book to go with my Italian studies. So right now I'm only using Rosetta Stone, but I want some sort of like book to be able to like practice in or like to be able to refer to if I have a question or if I don't totally understand something because Rosetta Stone has no English translation at all. So if I don't totally understand what the use of a word is, I want something to be able to work on that. Okay, someone's walking to their car right now, so like I'm gonna go. Okay, so I just left Barnes and Nobles. I got two really good books, I think. I just got this book. It's like a kind of like workbook. There's like different exercises in it and stuff like that. But it's written by a professor at Ohio State University who teaches Italian. So I kind of thought that was cool. And then of course I just got a Rick Steves Italian uh, dictionary and phrase book guide. I looked through it and I thought that it was really interesting. So yeah, I'm really excited about those two books. I'm just excited to now have a workbook because I feel like doing like exercises and stuff like that that have a little bit of English with it will help like kind of um, practice. Sometimes not having any English at all, like with Rosetta Stone, is really difficult. And 
I don't love it all the time. I definitely think Rosetta Stone is awesome, but I think that for me personally, I need like a supplement to that. So that's why I got a workbook and stuff. And all I wanna do is go work on it now. But my little sister is off of work for the evening. She lives here now. I don't know if I've ever explained that. But um, so I'm gonna go get dinner with her. That's my plan now. We're gonna go to this place called Happy and Hale. And that's where me and Christian wanted to go yesterday, but it was closed. So I'm really excited because I've been craving their food. <laughs> Do not put that in there. I'm here with my sister. Don't. She's having a really bad day. Yeah, you can't, nobody can talk today. <laughs> We're going to happy inhale now. inhale again because it is my favorite place to go to in Greenville it has like so many healthy options and I don't know I just really like the food they have so much good stuff there but this time I got the quinoa bowl and it's kind of like a Mexican style bowl like it has here I'll show you it has like beans and pico onion I put sweet potatoes instead of feta cheese and then quinoa and avocado and then it comes with this like Mexican style dressing. It's really good so like literally any time that I'm in Greenville I go all the time and I went yesterday and today and the woman who was working, her name was Mary, she was like, you were in here yesterday. She like introduced herself and it was so funny because I got recognized for being in there two days in a row but whatever, it's good. So now I'm just gonna munch down on this. I'm taking a little editing study break. I was kind of studying and editing in that coffee shop and I'm just gonna take a break, enjoy the good weather. There's so many people out today. I'm trying really hard not to get awkward vlogging and I'm doing an okay job, but I am not holding my camera out too far, so. Uh, but yeah, I haven't been having the best day, actually. Um, mostly because of my sty and the keloid on the side of my nose piercing, and it's just making me feel really insecure. Maybe I'll talk a little more about it later, but I'm trying to brighten my day up, and sitting outside right now it feels really good, so. I'm gonna just try to enjoy my lunch. Like I was saying, like it just really sucks because today is a really good day and like part of me does feel like really happy and stoked about today because like I was just editing and it's so nice outside and it's freezing in West Virginia and so I'm really enjoying the weather. Like I don't know, when I woke up this morning in my sty or chalazon or whatever it is was still there, it was just really annoying. And then on top of that I have a keloid on my nose piercing and Christian's friends want to go out tonight and do some fun things and go play laser tag or something and I just like feel like I can't. That sounds so superficial, but it's just like really is bumming me out. So it's not easy to always make yourself happy even when you know the reason that you're upset is like super dumb. But I guess it's like I feel the same way that a lot of people feel when they have like really cystic acne, like really bad acne. I think it's just really bugging me. Like that I just can't feel confident right now at all. And like this honestly looks better than it did this morning, but like I got this last Monday and it's Saturday, so like it should have been gone already. I'm gonna go. I'm now at Jimmy John's waiting for my little sister and my older sister's husband. I mean, Holly needed some food on her lunch break, so we're all just gonna hang out. Oh, and here they come. What's up? Are you talking to yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Today, so I'm just gonna work on a 
Italian now because I know that that will make me feel better, but I'm just having a really bad day. I actually started crying a little bit. Just, I don't know. Some days just are hard. If you are having a bad day, sometimes even if it's little things like this, it's so out of your control to make yourself feel better. I could say like so many other people are having much worse days than this right now. And like I've had much worse days. So like, why should I be up so upset? But like, I still am upset and I still am having a really hard time pulling myself together and having a good day even though it's such a freaking beautiful day today I really wish I could enjoy it like with my full amount of happy energy <sighs> but today's just one of those days and that's okay and I'm doing everything that I can to try to make myself feel better such as choosing to do Italian over studying for my medical nutrition therapy exam on Monday you know on Monday that probably isn't gonna make me much happier but I think I know most of the material so I'm not gonna like dwell on it um but yeah, like choosing to do that, choosing to try to see the beauty in the day today and going to a cool new coffee shop that'll make me kind of happy. Just doing fun things that I will enjoy, or at least trying to. It's making it a little bit better, but my day still, I don't know. I've already explained it. I just am not having a good day.